Hey guys, welcome to Inzania's Let's Play of the game called Towns. I'm relatively new to it, but learning quick, so uh, let's jump right into the action. Oh, hey guys. <clears throat> welcome to uh, Inzania's Let's Play of Towns. I uh, bought this game a couple days ago and uh, and really like it. I uh, it's, it's going pretty good, so let's get started. Uh, first basic information is that I'm on a mixed map playing with uh, everything everything normal nothing nothing special the only thing that I did was I turned off sieges uh, for the beginning just until I, uh, I I get my wood farm going and my uh, and you know stuff like that so that I can build some weapons and stuff like that I mean usually at the beginning let's get them going at the beginning you don't get a lot of a uh, danger there's not a lot going on but you know, you get like a couple slimes or something like that that'll attack you. But even without any weapons and stuff like that, I can find I find it it's just a major nuisance. You know, uh, especially considering how easy it is to uh, to disable that and not have to deal with it at the you know for the first say ten or fifteen minutes of gameplay. Uh, once I get some weapons, I'll turn it on. But uh, you know, it's not that big a deal get all my killing done by killing stuff on the map. I probably won't turn it on, actually, not for a bit, because I've already got brownies, froggies, and all this other stuff to contend with, Because and, and yetis, and black crabs, things, and, and just, you know, so it's not, this is a mixed map. This is not a normal map, so it's a little bit harder than a normal map. So let me pause it. Let's get them tilling my little farm down here, and we're going to start right here in the actual corner. I like to get me a tree farm, or I mean a... Uh, an apple farm and a pear farm. Something. Now nah, let's not do it in the corner. Something so that they can uh, have some sustainable food until I can get wheat going. All right, that ought to be good. So we'll do it four wide by however many long that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve wide. That's plenty. So we'll send them down to do that, and then we'll we'll tell them to plant apple and uh, pear trees in it as soon as they get it ready. And then what we'll do is we'll till as a tree farm right here, and uh, or maybe even here since it's a little longer. I want them to harvest that wheat too, but uh, just to get it out of the way, I don't want to destroy it because we're going to one of our first priorities is to get a wheat farm going. Um, the wood farm and the, uh, and the, uh, apples and pears and stuff, the, the apples and pears only feed you like 20, 20% 20 of your, of their, of their hunger or whatnot, their sustainability. So it's bad. It's 20%. It, it's just terrible. Uh, so it's good to start so that they don't die. But if you don't deal with this fast, then you are going to run into hunger lock problems later on. What hunger lock is, is that your guys will move so slow, they'll start slowing down as they get hungry. And if you don't have enough food to sustain them all, let me send them off to get apples and pears. If you don't feed them enough food, then uh, they'll slowly get slower and slower and slower and slower until they eventually cannot walk. They can't move. Now, they won't die right away. It'll take them probably another day or two to die. But they'll just stand there, and the other NPCs, as you'll notice as we're playing, sometimes they'll help, you know, with combat and stuff like that. If they happen to be relatively running right on top of the fight, they'll jump in, or if they run within a couple blocks of it. But usually that's it. If it's uh, if it's somebody starving, or somebody poisoned, or somebody sick, or somebody whatever, they'll just run right on past them and, and ignore them like there's no problem whatsoever. So uh, you got to be real careful maintaining. The hardest part of this game that I've found is probably the first 30 minutes. If you're careful in the first 30 minutes to an hour and you get your, your food going, make food a priority, always a priority. Safety, of course, too. You know, keep your guys away from anything that's going to hurt them. Like, I got lucky. I, I actually rebuilt this map like 10 times, 10 or 12 times, and finally got this one which is it puts me away from all of the bad guys. You know, if you send your guys out, you know, they'll 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 run into them if you if you're not careful. So what we'll do when we build our tree farm is we'll build a small one. You know, I tried it a minute ago and actually the first recording of this and just sent them crazy. 
uh, like a 10 wide by four or four wide by like 10 long tree farm. And they ran all over the place. You know, the, you got to remember that this game is run off of a type of, you know, pointing bur- as the crows fly type deal. So they don't always go for the thing that's closest to them. They go for the first, you know, whichever one was generated first, usually, or something. It, that's how it seems to me, at least. So, uh, you know, I could say, all right, well, there's a pine tree bush, and there's a pine tree bush, and there's some pine tree bushes over here, four, five, six, seven, and there's a mushroom bush, which I don't need yet. There's a pear bush. There's apple trees and stuff. I can find a regular, that's a regular bush. That'll grow a regular tree. There's a regular bush. I can say they should go get them. I tell them to build that, and then I tell them to plant the trees and the and the pine trees, and they might run way over here to get these bushes. I, I don't understand the, the, the coding of the game, how it works, but just be aware of that. All right, so I've got a full tree farm, go- I mean a, a, a fruit farm going here. i got two rows of apples and two rows of pears. So let's make them till an area. I want to come this off the wall because this I'm going to keep. I'll keep this one probably for a long time. Let's cancel that order. And then let's till. We need it off the wall by, by at least two, <clears throat> and you'll see why later. We're going to do it three wide by two, we'll do it four wide by, what, two, four, five, six, that's 12, 16, so, that's eight, that's 16 of each kind. All right, that should be plenty big, so let's send them to till in that. And this is where you got to be careful because this is the most dangerous moment in playing. This part of the game right here is where you are probably for in your first couple hours. This is about the only place, the only time that you should possibly lose people or you might possibly lose people if you're careful. All right, so what we're going to do, be careful, do not try and plant plant jungles or palms because what will happen is they'll run right up there to the bad guys. Um, so let's set them up to grow two, four, five, six of each. And then we'll do, I can't remember what I did the first time. Way to go, Brad. Uh, cancel order. So we'll do just like this. We'll do six and then we'll do six on the other side and let them go get them and hopefully this will go well. <coughs> See what I'm saying? This one right here is running way over here to go get stuff. These guys went way up here which him stuck there. I don't like these guys. I destroy them. Sorry. They're great for defense. But uh, the carnivorous plants, having them near your, your camp or your town or, or yeah, it's a town really, um, is a bad thing. All right. So that, sort of, that made it. Let me turn this. this. I like this flattened blocks. See, now I can see. Um, so let's try again. Let's try six more of each and see if we can get lucky hopefully we will so let's hit escape let's save because we're doing good and then if they get wiped out or something I can cancel it and go back yeah I know some people look at that as cheating but once you get this done this first little tree farm you're golden because you, you'll have all the wood that you need it regrows you don't lose it where's this guy going well there ain't nothing you can do but just let them go hopefully they'll they'll get it and survive and the world will be good looks like I'm going to make it so I'm going to go ahead and try and finish it off we'll do two there 
and two there. And then hopefully they can find four more since they just found 12. And then two there. I wonder if I'm, I'm asking for too much. <laughs> I'll end up eventually making this 20 long, but all of these trees right here and all of these trees over here, they'll all regrow these little bushes. See, right, right there, oh, it's a mushroom bush, but that's a pear bush, pear bush, mushroom. So, yeah, they did pick them all, all of the ones that were close. So that's good. That's good to know. I don't hear anybody fighting um, froggies. But uh, that's pretty common. All right, so we survived it. Outstanding. Let me pause the game. And uh, let's see. We've got food coming in. We need to build some storage pits or uh, stockpiles, rather. So let's build a... Apples and pears are prepared food. So, I mean, yeah, they're really not. But as far as this game is concerned, they're in the prepared food column so let's build a pretty hefty sized prepared food and I have it disabled uh, there's an option let me show you you go into options go into game this option right here newly built stockpiles containers have all items disabled by default make sure you turn that on it starts off so make sure that you toggle that on. And the reason why is I'm about to show you. So you go into a stockpile and you go to manage stockpile and it gives you an option. You can either enable all, disable all, and then you can go into your individual, you know, groups. I, uh, for this, we're doing a fruit one. So you would go into fruit and then you could enable or disable everything. Well, everything starts disabled. So what that means is that by just building this, my guys aren't going to take off and go crazy and just go after everything within, you know, the map. I mean, if if you built it with them all turned on, then they start everything. So you have to go in and disable everything instead of just enabling the few things that you want them to use and to put into that. Uh, with these, it's not too bad because you build these stockpiles pretty much for most anything usually. But when you get into barrels and stuff like that, you want to individualize your barrels so that you're only putting apples in this barrel. You're only putting pears in this barrel because barrels only hold 10. So, uh, you know, that's the reason why you want to have that turned off is so that they don't just go crazy. So what I've done now is enable the pears and the apples. See, there they go. They're all going off up here to grab all these pears and apples and carry them back down there. Um, so you got to be careful about what you enable. Now, first thing that I need to do also is, I don't think wheat's in this one. Hmm baked no it's not so what I need is another one so we need another stockpile this time we need a raw food and there's trees in the way there that we need to cut down but we'll do this over here since we've got all that up there all right so let's lay it we'll put it right there and what we need to enable here is you go to manage stockpile and then you go to wheat enable wheat now what they're going to do is nothing why? Because you have to go over here. This menu is basically for queuing up things. So we'll go to food, we'll go to gathering, it's not in gathering, so we'll go to baking. Um, there's flour, we need wheat though. So it's not in baking either, so let's find it. Cooking? No, that's pretty much all your other stuff, so maybe it isn't gathering. Uh, trees and plants, yeah, there we go. Alright, so I've got two wheat right now. So let's take, and what this means, the left side, that's how many I want right now. So that's going to send people out to get that many for me right now. Once they've gotten that many, that, that will be transferred to this. So say I go two. It's going to put two over here. So let's say I want... Oh, I can't. I don't know why. Four, five... So I want, if I put that at five, this is queuing it up. So this is how many they will always try to have on stock. Now let me pause the game. I'm just running time. Um, 
this number, the, the buttons on the right are, are how long, how many you want to keep queued, you want to always have on hand. The number on the left is how many I want right now. All right, so that don't matter. The, the number will change for me. Um, so I want to get, I don't know, about 10, no, about 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 would be perfect. That would give me a 3 by I, uh, 3 area that I can till to, uh, to grow my wheat. Because once you grow wheat, you can then harvest it. And uh, it leaves the wheat there just like the trees. So you can just continuously expand it off of the wheat that you currently have. Now, uh, what I've found with wheat is though I've got four down here, it's best to just click harvest. And if you hold shift, you can multi-click. So I double click on that and it'll select it. Because if you just click once, it gives you an area. So, uh, you know, then double click on your wheat, any wheat around you. So we'll grab that one. And we need to get nine. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so let's send them off to do that. Now, my plants here, let's turn it up. All my fruit here is ready to harvest. So let's go ahead and harvest this also. Now, this is going to give us a bunch of starting fruit just because of what we did to plant that. So we've got guys going to get wheat. We got guys going to do that. Let's grow a. Uh, we need to cut this out. Let's clear. Let's do a little bit of clearing. We'll get rid of all this, and then we'll go to cut. And we'll get rid of these mushroom bushes. Um, let's chop down these trees. It's kind of dangerous to cut trees in this game, I'm going to tell you straight off, because one out of about every five or ten trees to me, it seems, turns into being one of them. There it is right there. Exactly what I was telling you about. Now, fortunately, I've got three guys beating on this tree to tree keeper. So I've got three guys beating on it. So I'm going to win, but, you know, starting out barehanded, if it's one-on-one, -on -one, it's, it's pretty 50-50 as to whether or not you're going to win or the tree's going to win. Them trees, I've had them actually kill my players and kill a couple of my players. So you got to be careful with this. This is the whole, you know, another point behind doing the whole tree farm over here that I've done. You, know, you, you just, you can be careful. You know, this game is all about surviving. You know, it's it, it really surprises me because it's even more about you know, building a community so that you can support dungeon heroes that you end up sending down into dungeons to dungeon romp. So, I mean, it's it's kind of got the best of, of, of all your worlds that, you know, you, that you look for in these kind of games. And the, the AI, or not the AI, but the, the, the abilities of what you create and what you do is so in-depth in this game that, uh, that uh, it's just, it's insane. I mean, I, I really like it. Now, I'm going to build... This is going to be my actual wheat farm, so I'm probably going to leave it here. So the first thing you need to do is get you some stockpiles going, which I have. I have a food one here, which, they, as you see, they've almost filled up. So there's going to be plenty of food here at the start. Now what we need is we need to get going with some uh, some raw, raw materials, uh, which is our wood and, and all of that. Now all of these are temporary, so you can just put them wherever you want to put them. Like this one, I'm going to set it up for uh, for wood. Go to materials. We'll put wood, excuse me. We'll put wood in there, uh, and that should be all that we have. But I'm going to enable stone also because we do need some stone here pretty soon. Because we need that to build one of our uh, one of our our little devices that we're going to use in the uh, wood chopper building. Yes, like I said, I've been playing this game for two days off and on, and I played about 14 hours yesterday on the town and then decided, you know what, let me do a Let's Play and see what people think about it. So you guys, after you finish watching this Let's Play, you, uh, you, you're you you going to dictate whether or not there will be more. Now, I, I did a farming, a bunch of farming simulator 2013 tutorials, and everybody went buku nuts over them. And uh, so we'll see if this turns out. I've never done a Let's Play. It's my first one. Uh, so if you find me talking about stuff that's inappropriate or, or whatnot, just uh, please forgive me ahead of time. <laughs> um, 
all right guys I told you to uh, cut these trees down sometimes it glitches like this you can tell it to do something and it'll screw up and won't do it so what you have to do is sometimes you have to go back and just do it again and uh, hey guys I hope you're enjoying yourselves and learning things um, I'm going to continue this and it'll be posted on YouTube as soon as possible so if you like it give it a thumbs up and subscribe